guys, welcome to the Ictus channel. My name is Luke and I'm glad you're here today. Today we have something a little bit different and I uh, hope it's a blessing in your life. God bless. Romans 12, 12. Rejoice in hope, patience in tribulation, continue steadfastly in prayer. Now what kind of hope are we supposed to rejoice in in this world right now? Well, the hope that we're supposed to rejoice in is Jesus' second coming, and that he's coming again soon. Now how do we know he's coming again soon? Because the season is near. Now how do we know the season is near? Because... The prophecies of the Bible has been fulfilling. And when the prophecies of the Bible has been fulfilled, it shows that Jesus is coming again sooner and sooner. Man, this is great. So it says to have patience in tribulation. Because we need to have patience during tribulation because it won't be easy to go through the tribulation. Like, for example, Job is a perfect example of showing us how we should go through trials in our life because uh, uh, Job had patience and he knew that it was in God's hands and he trusted in God and it says here to continue steadfastly in prayer we need to be continue steadfastly in prayer it means to pray without stop it means pray continuously towards God because he loves us and he is our king and he is our God and he is our savior. And it says here in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's how Job was able to endure the tribula uh, tribulation because he, uh, he could do all things through Christ who strengthened him. That's Philippians 4.13, that's the answer. And that's how you are going to be able to endure the tribulation or trials that you go through. And it says here in James 1.12, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. Man, this is good. For when he has stood the test, he will receive a crown of life. Man, which God has promised to those who love him. Man, that's good. I love it. It says, blessed is the man who remains steadfast on their trial. God will bless you. And you keep faith towards God at the end. God will bless you at the end. God loves you. And he wants the best for, uh, he wants the best for you. And it says here, if you love God, you will receive a crown of life. And that's not just what God is saying. That's a promise from God. God promised that to us. That if you love him, you will receive a crown of life. And it says here in Matthew 28, 19 through 20. It says, go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I command you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And what it means is that he's telling us to go to all nations and make disciples of uh, Christ and baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them the Bible and the commandments in the Bible and it says wherever you are I am with you always and it says here in Romans 8 26 likewise the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses for we do not know what to pray as we ought to but the Spirit himself increased for us with groanings too deep for words. It means that the Holy Spirit will help us in our weaknesses, and he will help us in our trials, and he will help us in our tribulations, and he will help us to pray as we should. Amen to that. Thank God for his word. Thank God that he died on the cross for us, that we can go to heaven. 
Amen to that. God bless you guys. Hope you guys have a great day and hope this message was a blessing in your life. God bless you all.